They don't offer the luxury of first class seating, a dedicated baggage claim area, or an option for lunch between flights. But what they do offer is a place for area flying enthusiasts to practice their craft. And the president of the Sky Lane Pilots Association explains the purpose of Vandenberg County's only public use airport. It's the subject of this week's Tri State Treasure. The main purpose of it is to provide an area for pilots who own aircraft to fly pretty inexpensively. They can, they can rent hangars cheaper here, they can uh, buy fuel cheaper here, and it's uncontrolled. And so um, while there's procedures for coming in and out of here, you don't have to talk to a control tower. Skyline Airport welcomed its first flights in 1947 in what at the time was a rural area just north of Evansville. In 1999, a group of nearly 70 pilots bought the airport from previous owners Tom and Louise Crane, forming the Skylanes Pilots Association. Etmeyer says the cost of housing and operating a small personal plane might surprise you. It's similar. I would say if you want a comparison, it would be similar to a boat, really. I mean, the insurance would be about the same for light aircraft. Uh, the, the rent's fairly inexpensive, uh, depending on whether you own the hangar or rent the hangar. Etmeyer says Skyline has seen a decrease in air traffic in recent years as young aviation enthusiasts take a different path in gaining certifications. Back in the 60s and 70s, when there was a lot more activity, we had two or three instructors out here, and they were busy most of the day, especially on weekends. But now that, you know, the pilot population is aging very, very quickly right now. And then for the most part, those pilots are interested in commercial flying. Despite the decline in flights, over three dozen hangars surround the grass runway on both sides, housing the private planes of owners from right here in the tri-state, threading the needle on a runway positioned right next to north side homes. This uh, airport is published at about 2,200 feet, but the actual length with the overruns at the north and south end is more like 25 or 2600. So it's, it's plenty, it's plenty big enough for light aircraft. Just after the impromptu flight offered that day to our 44 News Chief Photographer Josh Luca, Etmeyer had one more request for future flyers. I'd like to see more young people flying. Yeah. That's what I'd like to see. Skylane might be hard to find as you drive by its location on Allen's Lane, but the buzzing overhead makes it easy for flight enthusiasts to navigate their way towards this tri-state treasure. Tommy Mason, 44 News.